everyone. I am super, super excited to be speaking today with Laura Kim. She's an incredible designer. She not only has her own line called Monte, but she also is the designer together with Amanda Garcia for Oscar de la Renta. We met when I was doing the Oscar makeup at the show, and that was uh, probably a decade ago. So um, I'm very excited to, to speak to her today about lots of different things. Hey! Hi, Laura! It's been so many years. The first year that I did Oscar, you and and Fernando were always, you know, right there. And, and it <laughs> felt like such a family environment. It was always so welcoming and so special and, and such a respectful, lovely place to be. Laura, can I ask you, what are your secrets? You have the most gorgeous skin. What are you experimenting with? Are you doing, I saw, did you do some cupping recently? Yeah, I tried cupping. I have a friend in Paris who does like acupuncture face sculpting. Elaine, she did on video classes with me during quarantine. Like I have my eyes closed and I do her class with her and you actually feel like you're at a spa. Can I ask you if you're... If you think that your your heritage influences your beauty choices, what products you use, how you use them, things like that. Culturally, um, in Korea, women have been obsessed with skincare for hundreds of years. So it's kind of natural for us to be obsessed with it. Everyone does the like five-step skincare. Everyone is watching out for what to eat, what's good for your skin. I kind of grew up on that. And both of my grandmothers had like no wrinkles in their 90s before they passed away. So I'm going to... Make sure I do the yeah. same. <laughs> I saw Laura at Joanna Check. Joanna Check is an extraordinary facialist. I wanted to ask you about your dress that you are wearing, and I'm so bummed I didn't. There's little monkeys in the greens if you look closely at the monkeys. Front. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love that dress. So you started Monse with Fernando, which is incredibly successful, a huge cult brand, and then you got called back to head. Oscar, how do you handle two lines at the same time? I work on building my team, make sure I trust them and I, they know that I trust them. And I give them the freedom to speak up and take decisions when I'm not around. And when you have the right team in place, it's so great. I, I'm, I'm, David and I are so thankful for our, our team. You are two brands. What would you say are the key differences? We do actually share a lot of same customers. Oscar represents classic feminine American clothes and Monte is a little more international. We're, our business is really big in Asia. It's a little more adventurous, a bit cool, like being a little off. Whereas Oscar, you wear the dress and you feel beautiful and feminine. And even for me, I actually find a need for both brands in my closet. Like, I don't want to be cool every day. I don't want to be pretty every day. So I like the mix of having both brands for myself. You worked with Oscar for a decade designing with him. Yeah, it was really fun when Oscar was around. Do you remember the time you brought him the natural um, skincare line? It was like well, edible stuff. It was like so natural you can Yeah. Eat it. <laughs> Obviously, mentorship is so important. Would you say that Oscar was an incredible mentor for you in your life? Yeah, I mean, 100%. He was um, he was just so open to us doing anything. Like, he's like, oh, show me, show me. Like, which is, like, kind of hard now I think about it, being the creative director. He spent the day just asking us to show him what we worked on and a lot of bad ideas but he had patience to listen to all of them <laughs> fernando and i joke about it all the time now i'm like wow he had some patience because there's days where it's just like enough you know <laughs> but that also opens your eyes to new things that you didn't think about how are you dressing now during quarantine i do wear a lot of oscar pajamas <laughs> and it just lifts your mood and it actually helps me work when i'm a little bit more dressed up than like being in the sweatpants so i'm dying to wear heels i actually went to um dinner for the first time last night you know we wore masks to go there and sit down and everything and it was outside my friend is like gosh those shoes look really new and it's like <laughs> i know because we've been in the countryside we haven't gone anywhere 
So yeah. to wear a heel feels really strange. But now I'm excited to dress up. You've been wearing makeup every morning? Yeah, like it really helps me to wake up. And I don't want to like walk by a mirror and see myself looking like a mess. So, and then I'll be like, oh, I don't want to do anything. No, we need to. What is it that's been keeping your sanity intact? I talked to a lot of my friends, which I haven't done in ages. One of my best friend, Tina Craig, she hosted my birthday party on Zoom and she loves karaoke. So she sang for us for like three hours. I only dressed up from bus stop and I was wearing like jeans and like grandma slippers. Your mom and you do some sewing together before collections. Is that true? Yeah, so she never worked as a fashion designer, but she definitely has like the skill set. During quarantine, I knew she was kind of bored. So I sent her materials that I was working with and I asked her to come up with something. Mm -hmm. And she just FedEx it back to me yesterday and I just sent it to my assistants to like put it in a Photoshop so we can like build a story around it. Oh my it's gosh, like a, that's incredible. And I think it's like a good way for me and her to have something to interact every day with. What's your makeup routine? What do you do every day to yourself? Put on sunblock. I do wear like an eyeliner and a little bit of eyeshadow and eyebrows. Your eyeliner liquid or is it pencil? Liquid. It's from Claire de Peau. I've been using that for two years now. I've been through probably like seven of those. But Gucci, you're, you, I love how you do skin makeup. So natural and I've always wanted to ask you how you do it. What products do you have there? Oh, that's the foundation. Number three. Try to, to not apply the foundation everywhere. Just dab it where you need it. I don't want to make everything one tone because then it looks very makeup-y. So I always try to correct imperfection and then add the tone back in where I want it to be. Then you can add some highlight, you know, just under your eyes, on your cheekbone. You can put it on your lips also, Laura, if you want. Oh, really? I like that it's not like sparkly. It's just like glowy. So our mascara on Laura is 96% natural because a lot of mascaras include endocrine disruptors, carcinogens. Do you wear blush? So I like it when someone else does it for me. I don't know how to do it myself. I kind of just go in like a round, oval, horizontal practice for your Zoom yeah. call. <laughs> Laura, thank you so, so much for joining us today. You're so talented and so humble and kind. I would love to taste some of your cooking one day. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you, Laura.